Now I did a video a while back on the Cat S60, an Android phone created with the adventurous in mind. I even ended up taking it to a certain festival in the middle of the Nevada desert to test it out. It was a great phone actually, but the price is about $861. So what if you want a rugged phone, but you don't want to empty your piggy bank to buy it? Maybe you can even leave your more expensive, more fragile phone at home, take this rugged phone instead for whenever the urge strikes to go rappelling off a mountain. Well, this is the Doogee um, S60, probably just a coincidence. Originally a Spanish company, Duji caught the eye of a Chinese investor who then bought the company, quickly moved them to Shenzhen, and they rapidly began producing new devices. The one most people are probably familiar with, since it got the most attention from the media not too long ago, is the Duji Mix, for it being the cheaper alternative to Xiaomi's Mi Mix bezel-less phone. Also probably just a coincidence. Regardless, their recipe seems to be pretty good. Pack it with crazy specs, make it way cheaper than any other phone that has those same specs, profit. And that formula still holds true with the new rugged S60 that's packed with top of the line hardware and a pretty obviously looking rugged exterior. Powering the device is the MediaTek Helio P25 octa-core processor, one of the most powerful chipsets outside of Qualcomm. Six gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of Samsung flash storage. It is a 5.2 inch 1080p screen, 21 megapixel camera using a Sony sensor, hi-fi audio that does at least give it a much louder volume for perhaps when you're camping and want to use it as a boombox. Two amp fast charging as well as wireless charging for the giant 5580 milliamp battery housed inside. And that housing is quite the house for all of these components. Made out of aerospace grade aluminum, high density polycarbonate and Gorilla Glass, you can beat this thing up without having to worry about it breaking. Rating wise, it all translates to an IP68 certification and can handle depths up to 1.5 meters in water for up to 30 minutes and is completely dustproof. All super important things if you wanna try to call a phone rugged. The device also has a fingerprint scanner that works well, an NFC built in for Android Pay, etc., and even has a button for push to talk that you can use with a walkie talkie app like the preloaded Zello and an SOS button that will automatically send a message with your GPS coordinates to a pre-selected contact. Software-wise, it's running Android 7.0 and is relatively stock, minus some weird additions they've added to clearly get you to buy themes or see ads. This cat thing has to go. Thankfully though, they can be turned off in the launcher's settings, or you can just install another launcher as with any Android device. Now the best part about this phone? Well, the price varies depending on where you buy it, but you can find it for about $280. For all those specs and the fact that it could easily survive any camping trip you could dream up, it's not a bad deal. In fact, it might be, probably isn't, but might be cheap enough that if you are an avid adrenaline junkie and you travel a lot and want to do these kinds of things all the time, it might be cheap enough for you to actually buy it just so that you can swap your SIM card out and leave your $1,000 iPhone at home while you go again rappelling off mountains, kayaking down the Rio Grande, etc. There you go. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Would love to hear from you guys. Uh, and if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please check out the rest of my channel. And if you like what you see there, please subscribe. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching.